we're, my husband and I were both like such big geeks and um, I think it started because we wanted to kind of brainwash our children to love and enjoy science as well. <laughs> just a combination of my love for science and art. I wanted to share that to my children. So I have four children. At the time that I, tar- I started Tinker House, um, my children were about 12 and 2. So I had like all, uh, I had a mix of ages to, of kids to entertain at home a lot. And science and art are just like kind of the perfect way to entertain and bond with your children at home. So if you want to do like a playtime, if you want to do playtime that's um, educational and um, it's a surefire way to uh, engage your children, I think that really science and art is the way to go. So. I did a lot of activities for my children, science experiments, play pretend activities for my children. We do a lot of arts and crafts. And that's just kind of how the idea got started, that maybe we could do something with this. Maybe we could do something with, maybe we could um, share the activities that we were doing for our own children to other parents and kind of make a business out of it. We put up our first store in December 2016, and the response was just really overwhelming, and we kind of didn't look back ever since um, until COVID hit. strategy to do that is to create a community of franchisees and resellers and partners that would help us distribute our products and our programs across the Philippines. So if we want to achieve our vision of having this nationwide um, system for learners who want to engage in STEAM, uh, the only way to do that is to create this huge workforce or community or network. And the, we, uh, the way we see it, the best way to do that is through the moms through moms across the Philippines. I think back in 2018, there was a point that me and my co-founder, um, I don't know if we were both crying or I was the one crying, but I was crying because I was just telling her that um, it just feels, you know, like, um, like uh, it, it's, it's a privilege. It's a. It, it, it's like everything that you that I've done or we've done uh, in our life was kind of leading up to this. Like all those experiences, having that science background, having the creative background, having um, having four kids, <laughs> doing development work and campaign work for a lot of nonprofits. It all it all kind of culminated into what think our house is and yeah so we were just really grateful to be in a position to to do what we are able to do.